Hi guys, Tech James here. So PUBG Mobile has officially been announced for PC. So this doesn't require any kind of BlueStacks emulator or any kind of Nox emulator. This is by um, Tencent, the official company that made Players Unknown Battlegrounds Mobile. So right now you can get it for PC. So this pretty much works on like low budget PCs, um, you know, with bad graphics cards and stuff like that. So I'll leave the link to it in the description of this video. Once you guys are on the page, all you want to do is just scroll down and click this download button. It's then just going to start your download. And once it's finished downloading the .exe file, you can head over to your downloads folder and just double click it to launch it. So it's just going to bring up like a small window. All you want to do is just click install. It's now just going to start installing. So this actually um, doesn't take too long. So um, just give it a few minutes to install. Right guys, so as you can see it is done already, so all you want to do is just tick add icon and then it just press start. It's now just going to start downloading the engine, so this just takes a bit longer. So now you're just going to have to wait for the PUBG Mobile um, actual game to install. Um, this probably takes the longest out of all of the downloads, so just give it a few minutes. Right guys, so once it's finished downloading, it's just going to come up with a play option, so just go ahead and click that. You can just go ahead and full screen it if you want to. Right guys, so once you have completed the setup, we are now on the game. And guys, what I like to do is just go into full screen mode right here. And I also like to go into the settings right here. Um, now we can go into graphics. You can put this on HD, HDR and everything like that. So we're just going to keep on HD for now. Um, frame rate, we're just going to put on extreme. Realistic, colorful, classic, I'm just going to keep on classic. Just click OK. So we've got some other settings here, controls, vehicle, sensitivity. We don't really need to do any of these because we are using a mouse and keyboard. So to get out of full screen mode, all you have to do is press F11. Um, we've got some options here at the side. This is just part of the emulator. Some key mapping, shake, full screen, multi-window, screenshots, recording, and exit. So yeah, I just like to keep it in full screen mode. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and start a game. So let's just go on classic um, solo game right here. Um, let's start the game. Right guys, so now I'm on the game. Um, I quite like to turn the sensitivity up because it is pretty low. I'm running about um, 60 FPS um, by the looks of it, but sometimes you do get sun lag, lag spikes, which is kind of weird because my graphics card is definitely more than capable um, than when running this game. But they'll probably release some updates and stuff which improve that over time. So you press F to pick up stuff. Um, it's pretty basic, to be honest. The only annoying thing is that um, when I sprint, um, that thing comes up on the screen every time, that, um, you know, this, that, that thing right there, the Sprint logo. Um, that's the same thing that you get on Android and like iOS. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why they put it in this version, but anyway. Um, there's also a few lag spikes. Um, I noticed this on quite a few like people's games as well. Um, they're probably going to be fixing this thing because this thing is, this game is literally brand new um, on the PC. You know, they've never really done this before. But it's definitely playable, so I'll try and get a few kills and stuff. Um, it says tap to switch weapons, but you just press 1 and 2. Um, that's another thing, they could probably remove their touchscreen options because that's kind of just stupid to be honest. Oh, we've got a guy over here. 
We're going to try and take him out. I'm being shot by someone else. What the hell? Oh, this guy. Let's go. That was a sh horrible kill, but whatever. Let's just collect all this stuff quick and then... So pressing um, control on your keyboard will let your mouse move around. Um, this way you can actually switch weapons and stuff like that um, after you've looted someone. So I'm probably going to take that, maybe the helmet. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be taking. But yeah guys, um, and then press control and the mouse will lock again. So that is a pretty nice feature I have to admit. Um, pressing escape will bring up the options. You've got um, T to talk, Y to enable microphone. And yeah, so guys, pretty, pretty playable. So yeah, if you want to try PUBG but you don't want to buy the official game and your PC isn't capable of running high-end games like Fortnite, then this is definitely a very good option for you. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.